All right, what's up, guys? I'm um, just Dylan here. I was figuring I'd make a quick video for you guys um, to try and help you remember your sugars. It's actually not that hard. It kind of seemed intimidating at first. We got like 13 sugars to remember, uh, but it really, it's not that bad. I'm going to show you a few tricks on how you can uh, easily remember these. So we'll just start right off. Uh, first, we're going to um, kind of separate everything by the number of carbons in the sugar. So we're going to look at the three carbon, four carbon, five, and then six carbon sugars in that order and um, identify some ways to remember those and some trends that we'll find between different kinds. So first thing we have is dihydroxyacetone. Um, this is a keto sugar and you can tell that by the CH2OH at the carbon one position versus a CHO group, which we'll see in all those sugars on the next slide. But then also you have a double bond to an oxygen here at the carbon two position. So that'll always be true if it's a ketose. Um, and I put it next to acetone just so you can see the relationship. So maybe you can understand why it's called dihydroxyacetone. So if you get to the test and you see the structure and you're not quite sure what it is or how to name it, but you know that you know it, um, the, the acetone there kind of helps you understand. So you basically are just replacing these methyl groups on acetone with your CH2OH groups. Um, glyceraldehyde is the next three carbon sugar and so paired it up next to aldehyde which is um, you can tell what aldehyde is you've just got your carbon double bond to an oxygen and a an hydrogen and then you have your R group so I boxed in the R group for glyceraldehyde just so you can maybe understand it a little bit better that way I also decided to draw out what CHO looks like on this right structure here but from now on I'll just be using CHO. So if you have CHO on the top in the carbon one position, that's going to be an aldose sugar versus, like if we go back to the last slide, we have CH2OH on the top, that's going to be a keto sugar. And also you'll see you don't have a double bond anywhere in the structure of glyceraldehyde. So maybe that helps you understand why aldehyde is in the name and uh, same thing for dihydroxyacetone. So here's just a summary slide for those. So you can just reference the green slides that are all the summary slides for each number of carbon sugars. So you can just study those. Um, four carbon sugars. So I pair these up. Uh, you have erythrulose and erythrose. And uh, again, you can see that on the left, we've got the ketose form of this. I like to kind of think of them as like two different versions of the sugars. So erythrulose, you've got the U-L-O-S-E ending. It's very important. Um, as those will indicate keto sugar, therefore you have a double bond to an oxygen at your carbon 2, and you have a CH2OH at the carbon 1. And then the erythrose version, which obviously doesn't have the U in it, that's just going to be the exact same thing, except no double bond to an oxygen, so you're just going to have OH instead, and CHO on the top, and you'll notice everything's on the right-hand side. Uh, for carbon-4 sugars, as well as carbon-3, you can see that as well. So we haven't even went off to the left side of the little carbon chain yet, and we'll see that here in 5-carbon sugars next. But another summary slide, there's only two 4-carbon sugars, only two 3-carbon sugars, so those should be relatively easy for you. 5-carbon sugars, again, sticking with the right side so far, ribulose and ribose. So two different forms of this ribose sugar. We've got the ketose form on the left, indicated by the double bond and the CH2OH at the top. And then the way I remember ribulose and ribose, um, it's got it starts with an R, so everything's on the right-hand side. You're not even going to bother with the left-hand side yet. So um, the only thing that's going to change is the carbon-1 position and carbon-2 position, whether or not you have a double bond. And the bottom part is always going to be CH2OH. So that's not going to change no matter what, what sugar we're dealing with here, whether it's 3-carbon, 4-carbon, 5, 6, whatever. Um, and then we get into the xylulose. So now we're touching over to the left-hand side of this thing. But it's really easy to remember if you just look at xylulose starting with the X. Obviously, to make an X, you have to cross over your lines there. So we're crossing sides and then coming back for each of these sugars. So we're starting on the right, going to the left, come back to the right. So kind of makes an X like that. Uh, same thing with for xylose, starting on the right, go to the left, come back over to the right. So making that X there. 
And then the U-L-O-S-E ending again in Xylulose tells you that's going to be the one that has the double bond and has a CH2OH at the top. D-Arabinose, um, this one, you pretty much, it's just kind of a loner. you got to remember it kind of um, by itself. But the way I like to know which OH group is going over to the left-hand side is that Arabinose starts with A, and so therefore the first group kind of on the either left or right side is going to be the odd one out so uh, throw that one over to the left side and the other two are going to be paired up on the right you'll notice it doesn't have a double bond so therefore it's going to have a CHO at the top and it's going to be an aldose sugar summary here for all the five carbon sugars so feel free to pause that there if you want to look over those and make sure you remember the trends with them I've paired them up again on that slide just so you can see the relationships between them getting into the six carbon sugars we got first fructose and glucose we're going to look at those and compare those uh, fructose though i will say is the only keto sugar so if you see a six carbon sugar that's got a double bond to an oxygen it's going to be fructose um, the rest of them are all aldose sugars so you'll only have ohs and no double bonds so fructose um, i kind of just remember this by comparing it to glucose because you'll see they're the same other than the fact that uh, because of keto sugar you've got CH2OH in the first one and your carbon 2 position has a double bond to an oxygen but if for some reason you can't remember that also you can kinda stretch your imagination to think of this little F here um, kinda made up between the backbone and the double bond to the oxygen as well as the fourth and fifth uh, OH hydroxy groups they kind of make an F with the rest of the structure as well. And if you look at glucose, you don't really have that because you don't have the double bond. But um, right-hand side, over to the left, and then right, right again for fructose and glucose. Basically, same exact thing, just no double bond in glucose. Mannose and galactose. Um, I actually don't really pair these up too much, but uh, the way that I like to remember mannose is I kind of have got two things next to each other. So like my two carbon, my three carbon are going to be on the same side and my four carbon, five carbon are going to be on the same side. And the way I remember that is mannose is the only simple sugar we're learning that starts with M and M's got the two little humps right next to each other. So my two groups that are right next to each other are going to be on the same side next to each other. So left, left, right, right with mannose. Um, galactose, uh, pretty much don't really have really that good of a way of memorizing it. So, I mean, if you got one, feel free to let us all know. But I guess it kind of looks like a G here. You start on the right, going over to the left, hanging out there for a minute, and then coming back over to the right. Um, but basically, you've just got your uh, two middle uh, hydroxy groups on the left hand side or on the opposite side. Um, so there's a summary for the six carbon sugars and that that's pretty much all of them uh, again it's, it's rather quick for you to memorize if you just use a few of those simple um, little tools I mentioned if you want to I'd be happy to send a PowerPoint slide I made for this um, so you can review on your own without having to listen to me but um, also I've got the slides color coded there so all the green ones are the summary slides for those numbers of sugars so uh, feel free to use this if you'd like if not well Sorry for wasting a few minutes of your time, but I uh, hope the rest of you enjoyed it.